Hi, I'm Nathan Turner. I'm a decorator, shop owner, and lifestyle expert. My friends know how passionate I am about design and cooking and really about living well. And so that's why we're here today. I'm gonna to bring in some of my favorite people in the design industry. We're gonna cook, have fun, and break it all down. We have Jeffrey Allen Marks, an old friend from my million dollar decorator days. Jeffrey is known for his tailored yet laid back California interiors. He's a beachy guy and it's definitely reflected in his work. Jam, I Hi. finally got you in my kitchen. I know. Can you I'm, believe it? I'm kind of nervous. Because I know you're a, a world class chef. I don't like to cook, I must say. I, you don't like it or you well, don't do it? It's not that I don't like it. I like it, but it's just so much. It's scary. Ingredient. It's scary. It's scary. It, it's scary to me, yeah. Well, I mean, we've known each other for a gazillion years. Gazillion. I've actually known you the longest out of anyone in the business because we go back to like Orange County. We I do. I knew you when you were in La Jolla. That's right. Which is where you grew up. And we have the same breeder of dogs. Well, that's my favorite. Is... That's like, we're related, basically. <laughs> One of my favorite things about you and your work, which I identify with the most, is um, your California aesthetic. We're both California boys. I am making a dish that you could easily recreate in your fabulous little house in uh, Santa Monica. And it reminds me of something that would be great for a Jeffrey Allen Marks. It would be. Beachside lunch. I'm doing crab cake sliders with salsa and oh like my a, God. a matching slaw with it. That's my first stop when I'm in Amagansett. Well, there you go. So we're going to jump in. We Have could. you ever cut a jalapeno before? No. Okay, cut the top off first. Okay and then go lengthwise. The seeds are actually the part that hold the most heat. Oh. So if you really like a lot of heat, throw those seeds in. One pound of crab, four eggs, a tablespoon of salt, and then Japanese panko. Now we're just gonna mix it up, so I'm gonna make you do it. Massage it. Massage it. Yeah. And you're getting all the egg incorporated into it because that's going to be the binder that holds it into a little cake. And then at the last minute, I'm just going to put in our jalapeno. And I like a lot, but... It's gorgeous. It's good, right? I feel like this is a fabric. I feel like it could be in the next uh, Kravit by Jam. It Kravit might be. Budget, right? it might, I'm trying it's to work on my inspirations right now. Crab cake chic. Crab cake. <laughs> Crab shack. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Do we so, want more greens? Maybe I like the green jalapeno? stuff. Yeah. I love yeah. that you want it just for the color, but you're gonna be like crying when we eat it because it's gonna be so hot. Okay. Now we have our mixture, so we're gonna make little cake patties. Oh. Okay. So we can do this like together. Like a hamburger. Exactly. So tell me this. Yeah. I've seen, you know, we've talked about your fabric and, and furniture with bedding. Do you approach it differently? Where do you pull the most inspiration? Like, for me, it's... I think I'm the same as you. I'm hiking, I'm biking, mm -hmm. I'm surfing, I'm paddleboarding. I get a lot, m most of my inspiration. I wish I had my assistant paddleboarding behind me. But when I'm so out like, in the middle of the ocean... Like, look at that. Yeah. Take a picture of that and send yeah. it to me. Look at that seaweed down there. Yeah. Great. So I'm going to let those sit for a second and we're going to just prepare a little slough. It's just shredded cabbage. Yeah. And a little mayo. And then a bunch of lemon juice. Anic mayonnaise -y kind of thing. What is oh. it? Sorry. Jeffrey, <laughs> organic man. That's like, it doesn't even make sense. Like mayonnaise is like the unhealthiest crap you could eat. <laughs> and it's, and you're like, that's organic, right? It's like fat ass best foods mayo. You know what I mean? Okay. Which means you won't be eating it. <laughs> the oil's hot. So you just drop them in. You're obviously super fit. Everyone has like guilty pleasures. So what is it? Uh, you know, I do eat a lot of ice cream. Okay. You mean made with coconut milk? That is not a cheat. Organic like, dark chocolate? Is that? No, that's like healthy. I have to I love like. Big Newtons. Oh my God. What's like, your cheat? I mean, I cheat every, I'm like, I'm che I che my life is a cheat. These are done. Okay, look how beautiful these are. They look amazing. Look awesome. what you did. And I can't believe it. You make like, you know, like a crunchy slaw salad-y topping, and it's like kind of messy it's and gorgeous. I mean, like this is like, for, I'm, as far as yeah. I'm concerned, like the perfect, perfect. California beach. Yeah. It's lunch. totally jam approved. Mmm. Mmm. Really good, right? So good. So 
I know you have Bed Bath & Beyond. You're decorating a lot too, right? I am decorating. I'm decorating all over the world at the moment. So I'm trying to manage both and mm -hmm. still do my new line for Kravit. And of course I have Palachek and A. Rudin. So I'm, I'm busy, busy all the busy time. A busy bee. You have such a great California, West Coast, you know, aesthetic. It always uh, comes back to that, yeah, yeah. Does it? Yeah. And so no matter where you are, like, you know, it kind of, you feel, it comes through, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm doing a Paris apartment right now and I'm really trying to, you know, inspire them to, you know, yes, I'm loving the mix of the Art Deco right. and the really, you know, all the Paris flea markets and everything, but I always throw in something that's a little California mm -hmm. inspired. Yeah, I'm definitely tailored comfort, so. Um, I, I love like that. Comfortable, Taylor casual. Comfort. That's good. So, I'm gonna remember that one. Yeah. Hey, should we do a selfie of this? Yes. We're cooking in the kitchen. Doing it. 